Okay, so my name is Junior Roberts from realjuniorroberts.com. This is our first video in our logic gate series. In this video, we're going to be doing an introduction to logic gates, and in future videos, we'll be talking more about logic gates. So let's go right into it. Okay, so our learning objectives as we go through this video will be to find out what are logic gates. Uh, to recall the five basic logic gates and to identify the symbol for each of those five basic logic gates. So, to begin, we will have to ask ourselves what exactly are logic gates. So, a logic gate is a special type of electronic device which accepts one or more logical input values and produces a single logical output value. Uh, so a logical value can be of the form true or false, high or low, or one or zero. And typically in electronics, we most focus on one or zero as our logical input, right? right. So a logic gate when given a particular logical input or inputs, will produce a certain logical output. So the type of logic gate and the input that is given to it will determine the type of output that it produces. And we will actually go into details where that is concerned when we look at future, future videos and we start to focus on each logic gate in detail. So logic gates are essentially building blocks for many microprocessors and integrated circuits. So uh, your computer processor utilizes the functions of logic gates uh, because essentially logic gates are used to make uh, more complex electronic devices such as latches, uh, flip-flops, storage devices and so on. So there are essentially seven basic logic gates however for our purpose we will only focus on just five of these and we will look at these five shortly so the five basic logic gates so our first logic gate is what we call a NOT gate right and this is the symbol of the NOT gate so as you can see it's essentially uh, a triangle right with a bubble at the end and it takes in a single input and produces a single output so the NOT gate this is a symbol it takes in a single input and produces a single output now sometimes the NOT gate is referred to sometimes the logic gate is referred to as an inverter right and again we will spend some time looking at these logic gates in details now the next logic gate that we will be concerned about is what we call the AND gate right and the symbol for the AND gate is this so it's a straight edge, right, and a curve front. So essentially the AND gate looks like a D. So a good way to remember the AND gate is that it symbols it sim a good way to remember the AND gate is that its symbol looks like the D in AND. So this is the AND gate. It takes in two input. It has two terminals for input and it produces a single output. So this is our AND gate. Again, its symbols look like its symbol. Its symbol looks like a D. So that's a good way for you to use to remember the AND gate. Next gate that we look at is what we call the NAND gate, right? And similar to the AND gate, it looks like a D. However, the difference with the NAND gate is that it has a bubble at the end. Now, whenever, right? So the NAND gate it looks similar to the AND gate in that its shape, its symbol looks like a D. However, the difference with the NAND gate and the AND gate is that the NAND gate has a bubble um, at its output, right? And you can remember before, we saw the NOT gate with the bubble at the output. So, we'll actually talk more about um, the purpose of this bubble here, but essentially, uh, to draw the NAND gate, we simply draw an AND gate and place a bubble at the end. And the NAND gate takes in two inputs and produces a single 
output so our next gate that we will focus on is the or gate right so this is the symbol for the or gate um, this side as well as this side is curved so where the inputs are is curved as well as where the output is is also curved so this is a symbol for the or gate right uh, it takes in two input right well two, two inputs and it gives out a single output next gate that we're going to look at is the nor gate right and again the nor gate looks similar to the or gate however just like the nand and the and gate the nor gate has a bubble at the output and the nor gate takes in two input and produces a single output and again we will look more into details on these uh, logic gates in details this video is just to introduce these logic gates and then in further videos we're going to cover more details about these so those are essentially our five logic gates so let's quickly wrap what we have learned just now together so what we've learned so far is that a logic gate is an electronic device which accepts one or more logical signal and produces a single logical signal so it takes one or more logical signal as input and produces a single logical signal as its output and logical information can be either true or false high or low or one or zero right and there are five basic logic gates that we will focus on and these are not gate the AND gate, the NAND gate, the OR gate, and the NOR gate. Okay, so again, this was Junior Roberts with realjuniorroberts.com. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, leave a comment below if you have any questions, or there's anything that you need to get further clarification on. I'll do my best to clear up those misconceptions for you. If you think someone else will benefit, please consider sharing. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed as yet and the bell notification so you'll never miss a video when I upload. Thank you for watching.